What's up everyone, today I'm gonna teach you how to draw Gigantamax a Shifu from Pokemon Sword and Shield. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe and comment below. I'm gonna draw on my Wacom tablet, but you can follow my tutorials with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, sharpie or crayon. So first of all, I'm gonna draw his eye with a triangle shape right here and I'm gonna leave the top line with a gap and for the gap I'm gonna draw a triangle shape upwards like that and at the inner corner of the eye, I'm going to draw a curve line to the left and I'm going to turn it back down and at that corner, I'm going to make a semicircle turn downwards and a sharp turn back up and a semicircle turn to the right and downwards and then I'm going to make another sharp turn back up to the right corner of the mouth and a semicircle turn back down and I'm gonna make a semicircle turn again to the left and downwards and at the lower jaw right there I'm gonna draw a arch shape to the left and downwards at the side of the mouth on the left I'm gonna draw a curve line to that point now beside that on the left I'm gonna draw another curve line right here and on the side I'm gonna draw a curve line out and turn it downwards and sideways to the right at the chin and back up the diagonal line to the side of his jaw so the next thing I'm gonna do is going back to the inner corner of the eye and I'm gonna trace the triangular shape at the outer part right there and a sharp turn back down to the right side and a sharp turn back up and back down and at that corner I'm gonna add a curve line diagonally up and back down and I'm gonna draw a few zigzag line at this corner right here and at the base right there I'm gonna make a turn downwards to the side and to his neck and going to the left side I'm gonna draw a another triangular shape at this corner and a sharp turn back down to the left at that side I'm gonna draw an oval shape and we're gonna continue the line all the way to the side of the snout there and inside of that I'm gonna draw a triangle shape in between of that two triangular shapes I'm gonna draw across a curve line at this point and behind that a curve line here and a triangle shape at this point and at the back of this I'm gonna draw a curve line up. I'm gonna draw a zigzag line across and turn it back down at that point and a curve line across. And here I'm gonna add another rectangular shape and a small one at that corner. Beside the face, I'm gonna add a circular shape here and some curve line along the side here 
and the same goes on this side and then I'm gonna make a turn to the right and upwards and sharp turn back with end it with a semicircle turn right there below the chin I'm gonna add two curve line right there now on the left of the chin I'm gonna draw a curve line to the side and I'm gonna take this point and draw a curve line to the shoulders on the side and a short curve line below that and for the arms I'm gonna pick a point here and draw a diagonal curve line out right there then I'm gonna make a turn up and another turn upwards and from this side I'm gonna draw a curve line up turn it sideways to the left and down and a curve line at the side I'm gonna repeat the same shape again for the other finger and another one right there Now at the side here, I'm going to draw a curved line down and from this point, a line down and turn it diagonally back towards the lower point right there and from this point, I'm going to draw the, f the triangular shape surrounding the knee and another one big one at the side And for the legs, I'm gonna take this point and draw a curve line down towards the ankle point. And I'm gonna turn it outwards. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side with a curve line down, turn it slightly sideways and downwards towards the ankle. And I'm gonna make another turn to the heels at this point and turn it to the left and the curve line up from that point I'm gonna copy the same shape here for the other toe and above the knuckle I'm gonna draw a curve line right there and another one on each of the toes now behind that frills around the knee I'm gonna draw from this point a curved line sideways and turn it slightly downwards on the right and turn it down and I'm gonna draw a triangle shape at that corner and turn it back up another one at this side right there and for between the legs here I'm going to draw a curve line down and turn it slightly to the right with a curve line and a sharp turn back to the left again a sharp turn right there and I'm going to repeat that again and another one at this corner 
and I'm gonna extend it to the side and then turn it upwards now going back to the right side here below the neck I'm gonna extend that line down and I'm gonna make a turn outwards at the shoulder there and turn it down and slightly inwards and from this corner I'm gonna draw a line down to the side of his waist and then I'm gonna take this point and draw a curve line out sharp turn down and turn it with the same scale turn at that point slightly out and this one I'm going to draw a curve line to the side and out and then I'm going to make a semicircle turn at the point down sharp turn back up back down and up down and up down and up down and up and I'm going to make the same single turn back up to the curve line and slightly straight up and I'm gonna take this point and draw a curve line down on the side and a sharp turn back up to the left right now there. for his other hand I'm gonna draw a curve line up at this point so it's a good turn to the right and turn it back down and at this corner a curve line and I'm gonna draw another curve line another one and another one so I'm gonna draw a similar shape of the finger at this corner another one at the side and one diagonal line up at that point diagonal line out and back to the knuckle and for his thumb I'm gonna draw a diagonal line there back out and at the outer corner a curve line up turn it sideways to the side of his tummy now for his legs on the right I'm gonna draw from this point at the side of the hand a curve line out and from the side I'm gonna draw a triangular shape up and down another triangular shape at that corner up and back down and up back down and outwards and down and a small triangular shape at this corner right here below the knee I'm gonna take this one and draw a curve line down and I'm gonna make the turn outwards at the heels semi circle turn to the front and a sharp turn back to the left from the front and at the knuckle I'm gonna add a curve line and we're gonna copy that two more times at the side right there and above the knuckle I'm gonna draw a curve line up to the ankle point and turn it upwards with a curve line now at the side of this triangle I'm gonna draw a curve line up and below that a triangular shape right there and back up and down Now going back to the top part which is hi above his head I'm gonna take this point beside on the right and draw a circular shape and on the right side I'm gonna make I'm gonna extend that line with a wavy line to the right and then I'm gonna make a curve semicircle line at this point and another semi-circle line at the back and I'm gonna take this point and draw a wavy line to the back and join to that end point 
and I'm gonna add a circular shape at this corner right here and behind the head I'm gonna take this point and draw a curve line up to the back and another one at this point and beyond that cloudy shape I'm gonna draw a curve line outwards on both sides and at this line I'm gonna make a semi square turn down and turn it back up at the back and I'm gonna make a sharp turn at the end point and I'm gonna do a few zigzag line at the end point right there and a curve line across at this point and another one right here now below the head I'm gonna draw a curve line down and sharp turn back up and in the middle of his nose I'm gonna draw a curve line right there now I'm gonna take a black pen I'm gonna draw a set of strokes I'm gonna begin with a line below the eye here and then diagonal turn out and in and at the side of that I'm gonna draw a line up and zigzag across the side of the face and then we're gonna draw the patterns on his body so a curve line at this point and then below the neck from this point curve line out sharp turn back up back out again all the way to the middle point there and a semi good turn to the right then I'm gonna make a sharp turn back down to the side and back up at the side of the neck there below that we're gonna trace the line along that side without a zigzag line and at the lower point there I'm gonna draw a line down on both sides and a triangle shape at the side right there and continue the line down another triangular shape at the side continue the line down And at this point, I'm going to make a sharp turn up on both sides. A semi circle turn to the side and in and back up. And a semi circle turn back in and back up and out to the side with the curved line right there. Turn it slightly downwards at the shoulder. Sharp turn back up and back out and diagonal turn curve line up and back down and to the side and I'm gonna draw a line from this point in and I'm gonna make a turn down with a triangular shape I'm gonna trace the path back to the middle point in a curve line at this section right here sharp turn back out and down and out and down again and out and down and we're gonna do the same thing on the right side as well and a curve line out from this point curve line at the lower point and we're gonna do the same shape of the zigzag line at the side on the right right there and a triangle shape at this bottom point on both sides right here
Now for the hand, I'm gonna draw the other half of the oval shape on this side for all the knuckles and across the knuckle at this point I'm gonna draw a line right there turn it downwards to the center same as I could turn to the side and up and a curve line up right there then make a semicircle turn back down, sharp turn back up, back down, and back up. And at the knee, I'm gonna draw a curve line across to the other side right there. And around the thigh here, a curve line to that point. And then for the legs, I'm gonna draw the diagonal line from the knuckles to the ankle point, and from that point, I'm gonna draw a curve line up, sharp turn back down to the other side. Repeat that for the other two similar shape right there. And for the knuckles, I'm going to draw across a curve line at this lower point here. And at the side of the nails, curve line down from the top. And I'm going to do the same thing on the right side over here. And also at the knee point, a curve line right there. And for the hand, a line above the thumb right here. And in the knuckles, And I'm just gonna extend this line at the side right there. And that's all for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoy it and find my lessons helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to drop your requests, suggestions, or any other comments in the comment section below. See you next time!